Hey, it's Tester7000. Found a reason for a commentary vlog. Um, found this post on Facebook. This is about the Dartmoor World Camping Ban and uh, property rights. So, here's a post I found. Uh, a guy called Ryan Wiltshire has posted this. He says, For those of you who watched Country File last night, I don't have a TV, haven't had one for years, would never watch anything like that. I'm aware already that Country File is far left SJW, so I wouldn't watch that, but... Anyway, continuing. You may remember John Howell, the owner of Piles Cops. Piles Cops is an area of Dartmoor. He told us wild campers were to blame for the damage in his wood. Well, the images below of his family camp out at Piles Cops tell a different story. Piles Cops is a SSSI, Site of Special Scientific Interest, don't really care about that. Uh, but yet Howells drive a Land Rover right into it, erect non-backpack camping tents and light fires. This is the exact area they use to condemn wild campers for on Country File. Lead by example, don't just tell the peasants what to do, agreed, and then do whatever you like. So there's the photos, you can see, I don't know if these are family members or um, like visitors that he's let on his land to do this big wild camp. There's a bit of scorched earth down there where they have a fire. They've got a gigantic uh, tent, kind of like a cotton tent, not like a, a tent that you and I would use for wild camping, but one of those heavy tents doing lots of giant barbecue stuff. Um, so. My response to this is, because I made a post about it, again, I'm in two minds about this with reference to the Dartmoor World Camping Ban and property rights politics. Uh, this post is correct in some ways. He is going on media TV and telling people he banned wild camping from his land because they destroy his woods. Then, of course, these pictures emerge of his family or visitors doing to the ground more things than any public wild camper would do. Uh, but it's just the fact that he said that was the reason to the public and media. The actual reason he should have said is, it's my property or land, it belongs to me, stay out, I'll do what I want, it's my land to fuck up as I please, not yours. Because that's what he really meant. Uh, and it is his land and property, so he's fully in his rights to do that. It's just that he will forever be looked upon badly from outside his land when other large-scale landowners are more generous and let wild campers pass through or stay a night and leave. And that is how public access land, as I see it, even exists. It appears that all land in the world is now privately owned somehow by individual humans or by groups of wealthy elite humans and what that essentially means is that the land that everyone living in or born into in this world, the land that they can access, shared with other members of the public, is only visitable because the private landowner of it is generous enough to allow public use. So that's uh, my post in response to that. Um, yeah. Hot topic. Very controversial topic, and it's it's still challenging my assumptions now um, about what should be pretty straightforward, and it mostly is in my mind. Private property is sacrosanct. Um, there should be 2A for the world. People should be able to guard with their guns, which are property as well, their private property, which consists of not only their house, and their land, but also their body, their children under age 18, the guns themselves, and their possessions in their house that they bought because they worked and paid for it. And all the tax money stolen by government that the government has ex no right to own at all or use in any way. Uh, that should belong to the person who made that money. Uh, governments do not generate wealth. Uh, they generate wealth in the same way that ticks generate blood. Meme. But yeah, there is that that question that uh, the Dartmoor World Camping Ban brought 
to my mind. Um, it's all fair that um, if you are a private property owner and you have land that that is yours to use as you wish and you should be able to defend it with your guns. It is the same way as you should defend your body from rape from the government as happened to a lot of people in 2020. And yeah, the problem arises that it's possible everything on earth is privately owned. In which case, if you're born into the world, you're born into private property and you have... Uh, if all the landowners say nobody is allowed on my property for any reason and all of the world's land is in some way private property owned by someone, then you're essentially not allowed outside your house um, without permission of the landowner who owns all of the things that are outside your house that you own. And if you rent, obviously, that's... Rent is, like, permissive staying on land, but it's permissive staying on land. You, you pay to be there, and you work in a job to pay to have the permission from that landlord to stay on his land. But I still think there should be a lot of large-scale landowners who are generous and give the permission of the public to pass through their land, because else, you know... It's a strange constriction in which you're born into a world where nobody can actually go anywhere. If no, if no landowner is generous enough to let people exist on their land, then nobody will be able to go anywhere at all anymore. So I think that's the argument that's developing in my mind. To add nuance to the property debate, <laughs> tell me what you think if you have any thoughts on this. Catch you later, folks.